What's up guys, Sean Nalawani, SeanNal.com, and today we're gonna to be going over some holiday diet tips. It's that time of year, and uh, a lot of people have been asking me for advice on what they should do to stay on track with their diet during Christmas time. So let's talk a little bit about it. So first things first, uh, assuming that you do celebrate the holidays and that the, uh, the food aspect is something that you really enjoy and that you do want to indulge in, uh, my first and my main piece of advice is to just chill. Uh, I get that you have fitness goals, uh, you don't want to fall off track with things, but keep in mind that the purpose of the holidays is to uh, relax and to enjoy your time uh, you know, with your friends and family. And if you start obsessing about every calorie you're eating and heavily restricting yourself, then you're just gonna be adding a whole extra layer of stress on top that really doesn't need to be there and you won't be able to uh, uh, truly unwind and just appreciate the time. So don't think, here's my fitness program and uh, how do I make the holidays fit into this? Think, here's the holidays, how do I reasonably make my fitness program fit into this? Uh, when you look back on your life and if someone asks you uh, if there's anything you regret, you're probably not gonna say, uh, I wish I had tracked my macros more accurately on Christmas Eve. I could be wrong, but probably not. Now, that said, I'm not anybody's life coach here, and everyone is obviously different, and so how you choose to go about it will depend on uh, your specific fitness goals and on what the holidays actually look like for you. So let me go over three scenarios here, and I'll give a few tips throughout. So scenario number one is the more extreme route. So maybe uh, you're preparing for a fitness competition or you need to be in a very specific shape by a certain date and you've made up your mind that staying fully on track with your program absolutely is uh, your number one priority. Or maybe Christmas time just isn't a big deal for you to begin with and you don't feel any real desire to indulge in the first place. Uh, that's fair enough. And in that case, you can just continue doing whatever you were doing previously in terms of uh, nutritional tracking by knowing what your calories and your macros are and continuing to just count them and using basic willpower to stay within your nutritional limits. Scenario number two is on the complete opposite end of the spectrum, which is just to fully let go and just eat whatever you feel like in uh, whatever amounts you'd like. Now, there's nothing objectively wrong with this approach either, as long as you're aware of what you're doing, why you're doing it, and what the possible consequences might be. How it specifically affects your fitness goals really just depends on how many calories you're actually going over by and for what period of time. So if it's just for a few days and you're not going completely off the charts insane, uh, the impact is gonna be very minor, if anything. Uh, whereas if it's for two or three weeks straight and you are going completely insane, then yeah, it is gonna affect your physique to some degree. You're obviously gonna gain some fat. Uh, is that a big deal? Depending on the person, maybe, maybe not. Uh, if you're still in the beginning stages of your fitness plan and you start just fully binging during the holidays for an extended period of time uh, and you end up erasing a bunch of the progress you've made and that causes you to lose motivation and fall off track in the bigger picture, uh, then yes, it could have some legitimate negative consequences. Uh, on the other hand, if you're more experienced and you say, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and just fully enjoy myself this Christmas. I'm gonna eat and drink whatever I feel like. Maybe I do gain three pounds of fat, but I'll just go ahead and diet for a week or two in January and burn it back off. Uh, that's a perfectly viable option, as long as you know what you're doing and you feel that it's worth the trade-off. Uh, so yeah, either of those two extremes, either continuing to track everything and being very strict or tracking absolutely nothing and going 100% uh, all out, both of those approaches can be fine for some people depending on the circumstances as long as it's being done consciously. Now that said, uh, as with most things, there is a middle ground in there somewhere and I think that that middle ground is probably what will apply and work best for the bulk of you guys who are watching this, which means uh, allowing yourself to relax, loosening things up, enjoying those holiday food and drinks, but still being mindful about what you're doing and not going too far overboard with it. Uh, because again, you have to think not just in terms of how the excess calories are gonna affect your progress right now, but also how it might affect your progress once the holidays are over in terms of uh, maintaining your focus and your motivation moving forward. So in terms of practical tips, 
Uh, if you've been in a cutting phase and your goal is to lose fat, uh, you can attempt to maintain your calorie deficit, but another good approach, assuming that the food aspect of the holidays is something you really enjoy, uh, is to just treat this time as a diet break for maybe one or two weeks and just eat roughly around your calorie maintenance level or uh, in a small surplus. Uh, it's not gonna negatively impact your results. Uh, even if you do eat in a surplus, uh, a good percentage of those calories will be diverted to lean muscle growth anyway, as long as you're still training. Uh, and if you've been in a deficit for a while, then a diet break can actually be a useful tool to give you uh, a nice physical and mental boost. Uh, on the other hand, if you've been bulking and you're already in a surplus, then you can just keep that surplus in place uh, or just be a bit more generous with it. Uh, in terms of actual nutritional tracking, uh, this can be a bit of a challenge because a lot of the items are going to be homemade. So just do your best to roughly estimate and go by feel. Uh, being a few hundred calories off is not a big deal in the short term. Uh, losing fat and building muscle is all about what you do in the big picture. So don't stress yourself out too much with it. Just try to approximately ballpark it. Uh, if you do want to be a bit more precise, then the best option is to just take whatever homemade item you're eating and then look up uh, an equivalent item using a nutrition database like uh, MyFitnessPal or Calorie King. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones that you can use. So for example, if you're eating, let's say a homemade Nanaimo bar or a homemade slice of apple pie, uh, look up the nutritional content for those items online and uh, just use those as an estimation. It's definitely not gonna be perfect, uh, but it really doesn't need to be perfect either. Uh, and again, if we're talking just about a few days here and there where your food intake is gonna be particularly higher, so let's say uh, you know Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, uh, and New Year's, I wouldn't even worry about specifically tracking anything besides uh, just some very basic estimation. I would say just enjoy yourself and don't worry about it because short periods like that aren't gonna be enough to have any real detrimental effect and there's no point in stressing yourself out during times like that uh, when you should just be relaxing and having fun. And then uh, one other tip you can use on days where you will be eating those bigger, higher calorie meals and snacks is to intentionally lower your calorie intake in the earlier portion of the day so that you can save up calories for later on. Uh, an intermittent fasting style approach is one option, or you can just make an effort to eat a bit less earlier on and that way you can just enjoy yourself later with uh, less of a chance of going overboard on total calories. So I don't want this to drag on for too long here. Bottom line guys, take it easy and enjoy the holidays. In the grand scheme of your life, you're probably gonna get more fulfillment from enjoying your time with friends and family than you are from having a six pack. So find a good middle ground in there where you can let loose and indulge, but also do it mindfully and keep a rough tab on your food intake if holiday eating is something uh, that extends beyond just a couple days for you. So thanks for watching guys, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if it was, make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. You can access my complete body transformation blueprint that includes my uh, recommended workouts, eating plans and supplement guides uh, along with one-on-one -on -one coaching by clicking here or by heading over to bodytransformationtruth.com using the link in the description box. Uh, the official website is seannow.com and you can follow me on social media here if you aren't already. Thanks again guys and I'll see you in the next video.